Hey guys, Jesse here. Um, I know this isn't a Gundam video, but I was just changing the bridge on my Thunderbird here. And uh, it's one of these new, or not new, but highly suggested a hip shot bridges. Um, and while just looking online for info on it and how to install it and stuff, uh, for as popular as these things are, there's like literally no documentation or videos online about the proper installation and stuff on these things. So uh, I thought I'd be the first one, hopefully, I guess, to make a video, a little more informative video. Now I know it's already on the base. Um, I, I should have filmed the whole process of taking off the old one and putting on the new one, but uh, I didn't decide to make this until I realized that uh, I didn't have a spare uh, E-string. So. Um, and then I found some quirky things going on with these saddles that, uh, yeah, if you don't, um, if you, if you don't experiment a bit or if you're not really paying attention, you can really screw it up. So first off, um, I'll explain about installing this and everything, but, uh, you'd think it'd be as easy as just screw it on jackass, but, um, it's a little quirky because this is a three point bridge. And if you guys don't know, this is a sorry excuse of a bridge that Epiphone and Gibson make. Uh, it's got three screws here that's you know used to sit here but as you can see this only has two um, and that's because under here is sort of a grouted out or shaved out part underneath this bridge that kind of allows it to sit against the base and you don't actually have to screw anything in for the third point so you're only using these two um, and this box by the way this bridge doesn't come with any instructions or anything so there's no paperwork uh, so yeah it really is just screwed onto the base, take off the old one, screw on the new one, except you're using only two screws. Uh, it does come with four screws, and that's because two of them are metric and two of them are American, standard, I forget the name, imperial, right? Empirical, whatever. Um, this is an Epiphone T-Bird, so I use the metric screws. Uh, otherwise, you would use the other ones. And then it comes with a small island key for the, or for the uh, saddle height. And so, after you get it on like this, uh, first things first, if you've already got strings on your base and they're hooked up to this piece of shit, um, the, the length of where the ball is compared to this is a lot shorter, so you're gonna have to change your strings. Uh, I tried reusing the strings that were already on there because they are fairly new, but uh, I just didn't have enough string to properly do it. So, anyways, there's that. Uh, so for these saddles, as you can see, these are a lot higher than this one. They all come, or this bridge comes with all the saddles all the way down and at the same uh, length. So uh, first things first, go ahead. So uh, go ahead and adjust the intonation on here. Uh, so you've got little holes here. There, it's, it's a Phillips head, and uh, what you want to do is I gotta give myself a little room here. But what you want to do is go ahead and get your screwdriver in there and just tighten it a bit so that it catches the saddle. As you can see, that's bringing the saddle bit, saddle back a bit. Um, I found that these intonation screws and springs are all the way loose, or just about all the way loose. So when you put your string on there and the tension's pushing down on this saddle and you go to adjust the intonation, uh, the saddle may lift up and uh, yeah, you're gonna have to undo the string and it'll be super annoying and everything, so. Uh, just go ahead and tighten this a bit so that the thread catches onto the saddle. Just bring it back just a little bit. And then uh, when you put your string on and everything, you can adjust the intonation properly. And then because this is down all the way, um, it's your string really isn't going to sit on it properly if you were to go and tune it and stuff. So what you want to do is raise this saddle just a bit. Uh, this little screws in here are going to be a little tight because they're new, but just give it a few turns on both sides, make sure it's even. Just so that when you put the string on, um, it can actually push it down at a proper sort of evenly distri distributed pressure. Um, and that's about it. And then you can go ahead and string your base like normal. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and do that, but I don't think you need to watch me uh, string a bass. But just, I guess, a short little review on this thing. I mean, this thing has improved the tone of this bass, like, tremendously. Um, I don't know what 
Gibson or Epiphone or whoever designed this incredible piece of crap uh, was thinking, but this, this thing is worthless, this bridge. Uh, so, yeah, this is definitely like, I mean, if you're spending however much money on a Thunderbird or any Epiphone or Gibson that has a three-point bridge, just go ahead and spend the extra 80 bucks or whatever to get one of these. Uh, it just, it, it sits right against the base, so it increases the sustain and tone and, or betters the tone. It's a lot clearer, but uh, in any case, um, I'll go ahead. Oh, and also the intonation control here, uh, you know, it's, it's like any other standard or should be standard bridge intonation adjustment. It's just a Phillips head at the back of the bridge. I mean, look at this, look at this piece of shit. Like the intonation is underneath where the strings would be. Like who, who thought that was a good idea? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get the E string on there and then, uh, yeah, I'll show you how it looks like, I guess. So here it is with the E string on there. Uh, I couldn't get the intonation just right. I think my neck might be a little bent, but uh, anyways, you get the idea. Um, the nice, something I forgot to mention is there's another uh, adjustment screw here, as you can see. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what that does. I think that adjusts the, um, uh, where the string sits in the saddle, uh, the sort of left and right movement. Uh, don't quote me on that because I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like they can move because some of them are a bit off-centered. But um, yeah, aside from that, plays a lot better now. Just yeah, it definitely improves the tone and the sustain of a Thunderbird at least. Um, but I have to assume it would do it for anything with that three-point bridge on it. So. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. Hope it was informative. Please leave any questions or comments uh, in the comments section if you need any more questions answered about this thing. Uh, in any case, see you all next time. Bye-bye.